All right, recently had a problem with uh, with our Reva Shelf uh, Lazy Susan, and um, problem was every time you would go to close the door, it would where it stops there right now. I've already fixed the problem, so this is kind of like a follow up to that. But every time you would go to fix, you know, fix it to make it adjust so it would stay square and level and true with the the way it should close, it would stop here and eventually it would never stop where it needed to be and um, so basically I, f I figured out what it was I looked inside and on the inside of the cabinet the little pocket took their thing out started looking I was like oh this is pretty great this is easy um, their adjustments for what we needed to do say it just takes a Phillips head screwdriver um, you're supposed to be able to unloosen this here spin it to where it needs to go and tighten it back up actually it's a Phillips head on this side you know loosen that and tighten it back up where it needs to go unfortunately that wasn't my problem my problem was this shaft here that goes down through uh, and basically it ends up being your adjustment um, for raising and lowering the cat the, the the cabinets themselves this screw would not tighten down to this so every time that it would go to uh, this is like a little v-notch here where my thumb is at uh, every time that this notch would sit back here where it needs to inside of here the shaft would spin so I took the Phillips head screwdriver that I had and uh, so I took the Phillips head screwdriver uh, tightened that down as tight as I could get it and it would do it over and over and over again so the solution was the fix was not up here the fix was actually down here and I had to actually take my impact drill and tighten this down so if you're having this problem where this doesn't really sit where it needs to it may not be this adjustment it might be this so take take the stuff off your your top shelf do a little uh, investigation see if uh, maybe you even put like a marker on this shaft and just kind of eyeball it, maybe make a mark here and, and here just to, so you know if it's moving there. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty simple fix. I was going to get a different set screw and put in here or maybe even find the spot and tap it in with a self-tapping screw or something like that so it wouldn't move. Uh, but after throwing the impact on there, it, it uh, the drill on there, it ended up sitting nice and, and square. So come back around, sits right where it needs to be, everything looks nice and true so so again um, if your adjustment needs to be here that that's cool maybe maybe it is for you maybe it's it's weird like mine and this needed more than just like the hand tightening from a screwdriver so get your drill out see if you can see if you can take that and, and look at that uh, another cool thing about these if your doors happen to be Everything sits true up top. Maybe it sits a little low on the bottom, uh, which mine was doing initially. Very easy. They've made it really easy to adjust that. So on this one, pull that off. And in there's a little um, kind of got a grip to it. And you spin it clockwise, and it will actually raise the shelf up so that the doors and give you some space down here and it'll even out come nice and, and square and true and then once you get done putting that raising and lowering that put that back on keeps anything from from adjusting there so yeah hope, hopefully that helps somebody uh the quick adjustments for this that uh, yeah maybe maybe it'll help you get your your lazy susan set up correctly hope that helps thanks for watching